Hey, how's it going everybody? Simple Duck here, and I want to take a few minutes, talk to you guys about some of the changes coming in Morrowind. Specifically, I want to talk to you guys about the resource management changes. So we're gonna get into uh, we're gonna get into the CP for, for cost reduction, for recovery, and I want to talk to you guys about why I think those are a good thing. So there's been a lot of people posting videos about how terrible these changes are. And I want to tell you why I, I think it's a good thing, why the game needs this, and what you can do to prepare yourself for this and get ready to do some major ownage in Morrowind. <laughs> Let's dive into it, guys. Okay, so real quick, right off the bat, I want to talk to you guys about the changes to the champ system and specifically the sustain portion. So number one is going to be the uh, cost reduction. The cost reduction passive in the CP tree is gone. It's it's just deleted. It's not in the game anymore and that is huge. So most people had, I'd say I'd say on live, most people have a minimum of 10%. Most people have more than that, but a minimum of 10%. So we'll just say all of your spells are going to cost at least that much more. So the cost reduction is a huge part of this sustain change. So everything's going to cost a lot more. The second change is to the recovery passive. So your recovery, uh, right now on live, it gives you 25%. And right now on the PTS, it gives you 15%. So you're losing 10% recovery right there. That's a big amount. That's a big amount. That can be a lot. And that's gone. You don't get it. So not only do things cost more, but you have less recovery to work with. So that's the champ side, but how does that affect the gameplay? So as far as the gameplay goes, it forces you to play smarter. Right now on live, there's no sustain issues whatsoever in the game. There just isn't. I mean, I run around on my Nightblade with 700 magic recovery. And I'm fine. I never run out. Never. I don't even get close to running out with 700. That's a problem. So the game now in Morrowind forces you to play smart. Things cost a lot. So there's a risk reward for every spell that you cast. Uh, throwing something like a shield. Shields are expensive. So you got to determine when do I use one? Or for Sorks, when do I use two? I mean... Uh, shield spamming sorks are gonna they're gonna feel it but if you play smart you'll be okay so the game is a little bit slower because of that the the fighting is a little bit slower there's not people spamming endless attacks and endless defense and you don't have templars that can heal themselves forever and you don't have sorks who can throw three bubbles non-stop all day long uh, you don't have Nightblades who can cloak around indefinitely. I mean, there's there's a significant change, and you're going to notice it. And very quickly on the PTS, people have shifted into playing a lot more cautious with their abilities, which has led to, I think, a lot more skilled gameplay. You see a lot of people focusing more on crowd control instead of just trying to burst someone down right away. Uh, that kind of thing is really good and really smart. And I like the fact that that's coming back. I had a, a build a while back called my, my Mr. Freeze build. And it focused on running people out of stamina. That, I think, is going to be a thing again. You're going to be able to do that. Forcing people to run out of stamina through CC breaks and roll dodges. Um, I mean, the, the passives for those two abilities are still in... They're still in the CP tree. So they won't cost a ton, but with the cost you know the cost of everything else for stamina users uh, they're gonna feel that so very smart that that they're doing this they're bringing a skill level back to the game that hasn't been there in a while because right now the game is just you know everybody wears you know a monster set and two damage sets and they enchant all their jewelry with spell damage or weapon damage whatever they're using and just go out there and see how hard and how fast you can hit people um, you can still do that on the PTS you can still do that with Morrowind but not gonna do it for very long if somebody lives through that initial burst you're screwed so 
that kind of brings me into the last point that I want to talk about, which is what can you do to prepare yourself for these changes? Well, the biggest thing is you're going to need, you're going to need more survivability, more, or I'm sorry, more sustainability. So how do you do that? Well, a lot of people run, run a five piece set that helps, uh, seducer, the lich. Uh, I've seen people running, oh crap. What is the name of it? Magnus. I've seen people running Magnus, uh, just something that will help boost up your, your sustainability. Uh, but you see some people who are running something like the Lich, but it's not enough, especially for Sorks. Shields are very expensive and Sorks rely on shields a lot. So how do you sustain yourself through the 40 or so seconds that the Lich 5 piece isn't working? Well, you have to supplement some of those jewelry and chants. And uh, what I found works really well for me on my Nightblade is I run I run my jewelry and chants as recovery. Now you can do one of them, depending on what gear you're wearing, you can do one, two, or all three of your enchants. Change them out. Now you might be thinking, oh my god, you have to run a five piece for recovery and then you gotta change all your jewelry and chance for recovery. How do you do any damage in this game? Well, changes to CP again. So through the CP, they've added some new stuff, which I'm sure some of you guys have already seen in other people's videos, so I'm not gonna go too far into that, but other CP things have raised the damage. So because of cost reduction changes and, and sustainability changes, your through your gear, your damage is gonna come down but through CP it's gonna come back up so I have massively more recovery on the PTS than I do on live but my damage numbers on my tooltips hasn't really changed so I think you guys once you get into it and give Morrowind a chance which I really think you should if you like Elder Scrolls Online give Morrowind a chance once you guys get into it and you play around with it and you see how these changes are going to affect you and the different build possibilities that this opens up, uh, this opens up so much more to the game than is available right now because right now if you don't have crazy high burst, you can't compete. Uh, so I think if you get in there and you give it a try and you see what this is going to do for the game, I think you guys will enjoy it. So hopefully this helps kind of ease some of your your uh, thoughts on the game and hopefully some of you guys will give this a try that weren't going to before again I really urge you guys to give it a shot I'm having a great time with it and if you guys are on the PTS hit me up in game at sinful duck just like the channel name and uh, we can test some things out we can duel we can run battlegrounds whatever you guys want to do just hit me up in game and uh, yeah, that's all I got for now. So until next time, take it easy.